And as a penetration tester slash pen test firm, we've had so many organizations where we go in, we find some vulnerabilities, we tell them what to fix, and then we come back a year later to do their, to their annual penetration test, and those vulnerabilities are still in place. And we ask, what's going on? Sometimes you got organizations that just don't care cost? about doing the pen test. Yeah, like is it cost? Is it is it that they're not given the right advice? Because I I've seen that too. I'll worry about that one later. But like priorities these for me, right? Absolutely. Yeah, and I think that if you're doing a penetration test, it's your responsibility as a penetration tester to highlight those kinds of things. Of course, is there a Metasploit yeah. module for this? Is there a MITRE ATT&CK framework tactic that this is associated with? Is it on the cybersecurity infrastructure security awareness, the CISA KEV list for known exploited right. vulnerabilities? That is information that your penetration tester should be providing you. Unfortunately, today, we do see a fair number of pen test firms just do a vulnerability scan and then deliver that as a report. That's really mm -hmm. unfortunate. We are always delivering key findings that are are triaged for importance. And so for most of our, org, our our clients, they're actually not dealing with those massive number of vulnerabilities problems. Uh, they're dealing with a remediation issue. So they might be doing patching mm. and they try to patch the vulnerability, but what they didn't realize is maybe that there was a registry key that also needed to get changed in order for that vulnerability to be patched. Uh, a famous one might be something like uh, Print Nightmare, for example. If you just did the patch from Microsoft, 